Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I am back with a second video. Um, it was so funny because someone actually said it before I could even get back on here. You remember I told you guys I had a, another video to do. Well, actually, another one after that, as, after this one as well. Um, also, we're continuing about our gifts. My title is this, Parents, I'll, I'll, I'm going to put the S on it after I finish. Parents who sell their children into the elite, God will deal with you. Now, you got to understand, I'm, I'm going here, this is going to be some deep stuff. When I was a child, I told you I saw my grandmother feed my daddy something. I didn't understand what was going on. Um, it was some potato salad, but inside the potato salad, and I watch, I've been watching for a long time, so I know potato salad was supposed to um, look like that. But it was some snake eggs. I didn't even know there was snake eggs. So look, I wasn't trying to throw no sign y'all just now. I'm, I was trying to tell y'all about the snake eggs, but I don't want to do it like that. I'm going to do it like this, okay? But they were like this. They were um, they were like round like this, some, like some, some little snake eggs, right? And it has a vein on them. And she had crushed them in the potato salad. I'm watching, and I said to myself, I'm a little girl. I was about maybe eight or nine. I said, what is going on? I said, mommy ain't never crushed no eggs in the potato salad like that with the egg shell. Now, I do know you can use potato salad, some eat it with eggs. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm going somewhere with this story. So she gave it to dad, and dad just crunching it and eating it. I'm like, so she tried to give it to me. I just knock it out of hand. I said, no, I'm going, I'm saying something. It's not just about parents that sell their children. It's also about generational witchcraft. That's why I say that to say. Some of you adults have taught your children and you wonder why their marriages or their children jacked up because you taught them witchcraft. Knowingly or unknowingly. And that's why you have to sever that stuff to the root of that thing. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Y'all know it's real. Y'all know it's real because you know our, our grandparents, their grandparents, their grandparents, somebody did some stuff. A lot of people did some stuff, truth be told. But also, there's also the elite that they actually, they see your kid and stuff like that. And some people sell their kids. We're not just talking about for human trafficking. Some of you sell your kids because guess what? You want that money. I, I truly believe Gary Coleman, that, that's why he had to sue his parents. I'm just being rude with you guys. And you know, that don't turn out good all the time. Because now you're selling them kids. And now guess what? Then they end up messed up because you understand what these people do to them. I'm not kidding. I know for a fact. They have rituals. Most of the time, they have sex with them. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. Everybody's not going to say it. All these famous stars, they're not going to say it. They're not going to tell you what happened to them. But you know what happened to them. I guarantee you. As a matter of fact, let's go here. I don't know why God got me going here this morning, but I'm just going to roll. And like I said earlier, I wasn't trying to throw up no sign because you know how y'all be looking and I'll be looking too. I was trying to explain how the eggs was. That's why I end up doing it like this because I don't want, you know, no, I'm definitely with God. Hallelujah. So long story short, um, not only do we talking about actresses and all of this, not only do they sell the children, sometimes they tell the children, look, you're going to do this because we need this money. So it's all about the money. Come on, somebody, even in church, y'all be surprised how many leaders are with the elite. Y'all be surprised. I'm not kidding you guys. And yet they're preaching God's name. But hold on. The Bible says that the um, Satan trans tr what transforms himself, the ministers of Satan, into appearing godly. So y'all thinking, oh, they look all good. You got to test the spirit by the spirit, you guys. You got to test the spirit by the spirit. Praise God in the story. So when he brought that point up, I was like, God, how did he know that I was getting ready to talk about that? So many people, I've seen it. When I didn't understand it, even these beauty pageants, y'all don't understand pimping them because they're cute, pimping them because they're a cute baby. And then later down the line, it, it gets a little bit more. You see, they start off small. They ask you to do small stuff and they give you small money, but then it starts to get big money. And let me tell you how I got to tell you how they did, how they did. Even when I first went to Hollywood, they give you anything. Anything you want. You want a man? You want a woman? You want both? Y'all ain't ready for me. I know y'all ain't ready for me. It's some real stuff. And look, they give you so much money until after that month that you have gotten all that. Now you in it right now. You you don't want that money to stop. So you're going to do whatever it takes. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. Them rappers. And I know y'all not going to understand this. First of all, you're not supposed to tattoo your skin. I know, I know. Old Testament, the devil is a lie. Do, do you not know? Now this is in, okay. If, if you if you believe that the Old Testament is not involved, let's go New Testament. 
Do you not know that your body is the temple of the living God? Hello? And he that destroyed the temple, God will destroy you. I'm going somewhere. These rappers, and they got everybody doing it, putting on um, tattoos on their body. Do you know why they put on tattoos? I'm going to tell you why. Because of the gay things that they do, the tattoos give them back their um, muscularity to where they feel like a man again. Y'all didn't know that, huh? I know y'all just thought that. And in the movies, most of those tattoos are washed off. They don't tattoo their body like that, but y'all be thinking that's real. So now y'all going all over the world. And when I say that, just going to these different people, that's spirits. Google what tattoos do, how people that have them start getting blood disease, all that other stuff. Y'all need to Google that stuff because I know y'all, y'all, let me tell you something. I thank God I'm not a, a mass follower to where I just follow everybody. But let me tell you how God can remove tattoos. And I don't, I don't know if I shared this openly or publicly. My friends know. And ain't nobody lying. It's not exaggeration. I had two tattoos. I had one on my arm. I had um, a guy named and I had one on my leg for my daughter. When I went under the water at Pastor Godot's Church, Calvary Christian Center in 2005 or six, when I got baptized, one of them years, I should have brought it down, didn't but I remember. The next day, God said, look at your body. Those tattoos was gone. I just started crying. He said, never put another one on. Y'all know when people tried to get me to put tattoo? Oh, put the, put the Lord's Prayer. Put the, the devil is a lie. And some of y'all ministers doing the same thing. But it is scripture. Dummy. Yeah, yeah, I'm calling you a dummy. You're a dummy. Because now the enemy just flipped that script and lied to you. Do not mark your body. It's not your. It's, it is the indwelling of the Holy Ghost. You are the temple of God. Hallelujah. You don't do that to a mama push scripture. You don't do that. So that's why all that is. So it's like, it's all a game. And God just don't want you to be, God don't want you to get in the game because it's a game you won't win. If you play with Satan, you will not win that game, people. I promise you. I'm telling you what God said. You won't win it. But for the ones that sell their children, God said he's going to deal with you because you got people, they had a little girl. Cute girl, throwing up the Illuminati sign. You know her mama told her to do that. Some of y'all expiring artists, y'all throwing up the Illuminati sign. You don't know what you're doing. I know you think you want their attention. You don't want them people like that. Let me tell you something, because y'all don't believe me. People will kill you when they finish with you. Don't they do it all the time? After you make them all that money, they discard you, especially if you challenge them, especially if you wake up. I better wake up and quit playing. Y'all better wake up and quit playing. This stuff real. And, and I know not a lot of people talking about this. I'm already on their list. I ain't scared of them. Hallelujah. For God, I live and for God, I die. Scared of them people. And trust me, I know. I know they're watching. I know what time it is. And I still ain't scared. Because somebody need to tell y'all the truth. Because a lot of people are not. They're scared. Do you know why a lot of pastors and preachers not saying this? They want to cover their family. Can I tell you something? Because this might help y'all. Because y'all be looking at my videos on the low, low anyway. So let me tell y'all something why I ain't scared. Because no matter what happened, God got me. And God got my family. And if something should happen, it's God. It's always God. He's in control. Hallelujah. So who do you trust more? That's the question. Or you scared of the enemy? Because that's what he uses. He uses fear. He uses fear to try to make you do something that's not of God, to be something that's not of God, to, to get in a covenant that's not of God, to, to want money more than God, to want a man more than God, a woman more than God. And some of you are afraid of God. Some of you, you you're powerful. You are powerful. You just don't know it yet because you're too scared. Well, God, this might start happening. Yes, it will. You will be put on. Yes, it will. They will come out. Yes, it will. I can't tell you the stuff that happened to me. Sometimes on a daily basis, I've gotten to the point. No, I am going to say, I ain't scared. When I was in Atlanta, now stuff happened here, but that was a lot more in Atlanta. I was laying down one day, and I promise you, I'm not even lying. I wish I was. I looked up, white man, Caucasian man walked by me, just passed. I just went back to sleep. What am I supposed to do? I know they're watching. I know what they're doing. What am I supposed to do? Get scared? It's too late. I thought, God, you know, I didn't know I was going to do the devil. It's a lie. No time to get scared. I just, whatever. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all better gird your lines and understand what time it is. It's a war. They're not playing with us. You think they're playing? You think, you think they're playing? Still kill and destroy. That's what they're trying to do. And they're not playing. And, and, and let me tell y'all something. For you that go on their side thinking that, oh, they won't do it to me. You don't have enough money for them not to do it to you. They're going to use you up and then they're going to do you that. 
Can't trust the devil. The devil's a liar from the beginning, says the Lord. How are you going to have an alliance with the devil? He's going to use you up, your resources, make you do all that evil stuff, even against your own brother and sister, and then you're going to throw you away. But y'all be doing it because well, I need to cover my family. The best God that can cover your family is God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You cannot do this, man of God. You cannot do this, woman of God. I know you think you can. You cannot. Your position is to pray for your family and to trust God. Hallelujah. I don't know why I'm going here, but somebody, y'all must be doing some stuff because I don't just ramble. I don't just put out videos and say stuff. Y'all must be selling y'all souls. Y'all must be y'all must be doing stuff for money. Y'all better stop for something that's not even gonna be. Y'all you know, know it's gonna come a time where they're gonna throw money in the street. Ain't gonna be nothing. As a matter of fact, the dollar is almost no. <laughs> Don't you know they're going to cash the society? Do you understand? Hold on, this one gonna really get you. You know when martial martial law come, you will own no property. That it will be communist. You will own no property. They will tell you what to do, how to do it. If you don't believe me, you need to go to Netflix, get Netflix and look at the colony. They showing you what they're getting ready to do. This ain't no game. And you ain't, and hold on, you ain't got to believe me. Just remember that Apostle Deanna Dixon said it. Because I know it's scary. But the Bible says that my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You ain't got to believe me. I don't care. Just remember it was said to you. Because God is one in all of us. Hallelujah. Woo, I feel the power of God up in here. All right, God bless you. God keep you. I love y'all. That's why I do what I do. You know, my my fate is my, my fate is sealed. And I'm still, I'm still going with God. I don't care what they do. I ain't scared. And I was wondering why I, I, you know, God chose me. I said, God, I'm kind of, you know, I didn't miss through a lot and did a lot. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not ashamed. I did everything probably what I wasn't supposed to do. And I almost got killed, like I say, six times. But I would do, I would say yes to God all over again. Because if I was living, I'm not supposed to be here. He saved me for such a time as this. Am I supposed to be scared now? I wasn't scared when I was doing wrong. Don't be scared when you're doing right, babe. You got you to gotta man up or woman up. So be strong in the Lord. And the only way you can do this is by the Bible, the word of God, getting a close relationship to God. Otherwise, I couldn't do this. If you're trying to do this on your own, you cannot. You need God. You need God. You need God. And, and God can cover your family. Not you, because some of you, the reason why you're doing some of the things you're doing, I got to protect my family. Only God can protect your family. Hallelujah. All right. I'm, I just said what God said to say. I got to get off out here. God bless you. God keep you. You know what? This is deja vu. Meaning that it seems like I've said and done this thing before. Just now, you ever heard that? I don't really like the word deja vu because that sounds like some kind of weird stuff. I'm going to have to figure out what that is because I don't even like that word. But I've done this before. I'm not kidding. When I look to the side, just now, it's like, this is this deep. It's like I've said this conversation before and I've done this before. That's how you know it's real. All right, God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon, real life soldiers, for that is who we are. Mm, God bless.